What's going on guys? My name is Jordan and welcome to my flipping life. So today we're gonna go set some Halloween stuff up. I got some spiders that I bought last year for like $13. I'm gonna try and put these on my roof. I wanted to put them up on the front of the house on either side of the window. Me and my wife aren't really sure exactly how we're gonna attach them. She's like, what about just put them on the roof? I said, yeah, that'd probably work. Now I gotta figure out how to attach them to the roof. Or maybe just hang them from the gutters or something. This is probably what I'm gonna do. Other than that, I'm going to put some animatronics out. I stopped at the Dollar Tree and I picked up some Spanish moss. Also picked up some of these little beware signs. I thought they were pretty cool. It like, looks like bones. Here's the Spanish moss. I know one of my subs were asking me what's a good uh, way to make fake Spanish moss. Uh, I wouldn't even bother trying to make it. This is a dollar. Put it all over my graveyard fence. So that's what I bought it for. I bought six bags. We're gonna try it. Don't mess around trying to make it. Just go buy it. Unless you live in Florida, then you can just like pick it off your trees in your backyard. That's what I would do if I lived in Florida. But anyway, I'm gonna put some animatronics out. Uh, I'm probably gonna do one of my scarecrows and one, I think, miserable Marie. I'm gonna put her out there because she's broke, so it doesn't matter if she gets wet. I don't really care. And then I'm not really sure what else I'm gonna put out there, but I wanna get some stuff out because the neighbors have already been getting like attention like crazy. Just people driving by and then the community posts. So I'm gonna put some stuff out there and try to get some more attention because this end of town is, is not, it's not happening over here. So I might put some lights too on my fence out front. Uh, I picked up some extension cords today and I bought a couple the other day. And then I picked up like some three-way splitters so we're gonna go and try and hook all this up, get some more lights out there, get this thing popping, cause it's not looking so hot out there. All right, so I got a lot set up outside. I put a few animatronics out there, um, most broken ones, I should say. I put the broken ones out there. One actually does work, but he doesn't do anything. Like his head turns and he, his eyes light up, that's about it. It's nothing crazy. I figured I'd put him out there because he's a grim reaper. It makes sense that he's in a graveyard. So I put a few out, nothing too crazy. But the only reason I'm putting stuff out is that I'm actually kind of pissed. Some people have drove by my house and didn't film anything, but they filmed my neighbor's house. But, I mean, they have theirs lit up like Fort Knox, so I, I understand. Mine's just kind of like purple lights, blue lights mine doesn't really stand out yet but on game day it stands out but um this year it's going to be a little different for me since i'm working the pro haunt i'm not going to be able to be here at my haunt so that kind of sucks because our trick-or-treat is now on halloween we work friday saturday and sunday at the pro haunt and i'm not going to be around for it I'll be here a little bit and then I'm gonna have to leave. So I'll set some props out and then I'm gonna bring props back in and then I'm out. I gotta go scare the shit out of people. But is what it is. So I'm gonna try and put more stuff out this year uh, than I have in the past. Hopefully it all works next year because it's all about to get rained on and all this stuff and that's what I'm afraid of. I don't want all my stuff ruined because this stuff isn't free. It costs a lot of money. And that's the part I'm like really iffy on, on putting all this stuff out. So I'm gonna go up front and I'm gonna show you what I've done. I've put out new lights, I've put up animatronics, I've put out just static props, I've put out all kinds of different stuff, Spanish moss on the fence. I've done a bunch of different stuff. I haven't really filmed anything. So I'm gonna go out front and show you what it all looks like in the dark. Join me, shall you? All right, so here is what I have set up. I put my Grim Reaper out here. His eyes light up, but he's not on. I just put this brand new green light on him. This light has a remote and it does all kinds of stuff, like tons of stuff. I thought the green looked best on him. 
considering everything behind him is red and then purple. But I have the scarecrow back there, gargoyle tombstone, the other stuff here. We got a lot out here. Obviously, I got my confetti light. I'm gonna adjust that a little bit. I have miserable Marie out here. Got a street white light on her. And I added a groundbreaker over there. Moving on down, I added another groundbreaker. This is the undead zombie from Spirit. Got them half price last year. And then this year I bought the uh, Home Depot tombstones. These are like seven bucks. I think this thing looks wicked awesome in front of that. Back here in this dead spot, I'm going to put my headless horseman. Jump over here and show you. I'm trying to trip over cords. Got this guy set up here. I think he looks pretty good there. I pounded a stake in the ground and he's he's in there. He ain't going anywhere. I have this little dude. He's not very well lit. Maybe I can get him lit for the time being. Creepy little groundbreaker. It's by his tombstone. It's just a nothing too crazy. But up here. On the porch, as you can see, I have my strobe light. I have the plague doctor up there. In case that strobe light lights are up, looks pretty freaking awesome. Pretty creepy. Over here, I just have a dead body bag that I made last year. tied up to the porch. Uh, it's not super well lit. It's really hard to see it. But got all the corn on here. Um, waiting on some solar lights to charge up. And I also put solar lights along the fence here. Um, they're not charged so it's hard to see. Or you can see it. But I added Spanish moss I found at the Dollar Tree to the fence to kind of creep it up. I like this guy. He looks pretty good. Corn's well lit. I need to add some stuff. Porch is pretty well lit with the firelight. Uh, I need to add something. Something to the porch. As far as lighting, last year I had lighting around the porch and up around the top. I didn't want to do that this year. I feel like I really need to do it. There's not much going on up there and it looks really bare. Scarecrow is looking awesome. We got some corn up on him. We got some lights sitting there and they do not twinkle if you look at it. Just watch it to Albert's mom. It, they don't twinkle. These lights do the twinkling that I think you're talking about. But I think all this looks good. I'm pretty happy with it. Hopefully this starts catching some attention and maybe we can get a news crew or just some passerbys start filming and uh, get some attention out here but I need to do something out here because from the fence it just kind of all blends in so I need to do something out here especially with this arch I need to get some kind of lighting out here so I'm pretty happy with what I have set out there so far I got a lot of animatronics out there well, actually I have one that actually works, two that don't work anymore, but I have lights on them, 
and I'm trying to get this place on the map. Just passerbys, hopefully some people start filming and get this place out there, start sharing it. I do see a lot more people now starting to drive by really slow. I need to get a lot more stuff out there now because I'm not going to be around because I'm working the pro haunt. So my trick or treat is now on Halloween this year, which would be awesome if I wasn't working the pro haunt, but I am. I need to figure out which ones I want out there because I'm, I'm trying not to get all this stuff ruined and I would like it to work next year. So I'm going to put a couple scarecrows out there. Uh, I think I'm going to put my headless horseman out there in the cemetery as well and see what happens. Uh, hopefully this stuff doesn't break. Next year I'm not going to work the pro hunt. I'm going to work here full time and be on this because I'm going to go a lot harder. I've dialed it way back. I'm doing one theme that's graveyard and that's that's it. We're doing one cemetery theme. Uh, I need some more lighting. Uh, I would like to do something with the graveyard fencing. I would like maybe the, I have purple lights, so I think maybe I'll drape the purple lights across the fence and then orange lights over the archway and then purple back into purple lights down the rest of the fencing. I need to do something to light up the archway and the fencing. There's just, there's no lighting on it and I'd like that to be seen, which right now it's not really seen um, from the road. When you're driving by, it's just kind of like, oh, okay, there's lights behind a fence. And the fence is kind of hiding everything, which kind of sucks for me. Uh, the fence was the purpose that I wanted this year was to keep people out of it when they're trick-or-treating. But it's also kind of kicking my butt because now it's hiding everything I have out in the yard now when you're driving by. So that's why I started putting animatronics out towards the front and some static props up and stuff so you can see it from the road so i think i'm gonna go out here and i'm gonna put a few more things out and just see how how it goes hopefully this stuff doesn't get ruined i don't want that uh, i'd like this stuff to last we're still pushing forward we're gonna make this thing happen one way or another i wish i could be here on my trick-or-treat i'll be here for a little bit uh probably take most of my most important props out and then bring them back in and then head to the pro hunt because uh i work friday saturday and sunday at the pro hunt for halloween weekend which sucks but is what it is and then we work the following weekend i'm gonna try and do as much as i can as fast as i can as best as i can out here and make my haunt cool because my neighbor, hands down, her house is her, her house is the best. Her her house is always, always has been the best, and it always looks great. And they just, they kill it. There's nothing I can't really compete with the way their setup is. It's it's great. But next year, I'm going full force into mine, and I'm going hard. So she better watch out. I'm telling you, she better watch out next year. When I have a lot more time and uh, I'm not working this place. So Fridays and Saturdays, I'll have to work on mine. So next year, I'm going to start building a lot, a lot more stuff. I'm going to get out here, put some more props up. Appreciate all you guys. Thank you so much for watching. The haunt season continues. Remember, like, share, subscribe. Leave me some comments down below and I will see you on the next video.